Hi, Autumn. How you doing? <clears throat> so I, you know, I found I, I find your post to be really super fascinating for a couple of reasons. Um, you're it's just so interesting to me that you're working on all four at the same time. Right. And it's also interesting that you're applying a different you're using a different kind of style of applying color in all four. So so again, that's fascinating stuff. It's to me, I'm just I'm enthralled here with the the methodology because I think a lot of us would say, and myself included, I, I when I work on these, I work on, on them individually. And I kind of springboard one off the next and, and you know what I'm saying? So so to me this is just fascinating workflow all right so the these this is fantastic i mean you you just that's just really really good stuff um i, I this one is as well um i'm really curious about the application of color here and how you're going i mean this to me you, you just maybe don't even need any more kind of value in the face at all in terms of trying to create facial characteristics we saw in the maryland example that there's these are flat the only dimension you get in these at all is with the hair and that little shadow um, under the neck and then some of the the density of the the black creates this eye makeup but other than that it's completely flat i find that this is is fa just phenomenal the hard lines on this, your facial structure, you got it, man. I mean, it almost, that's just spot on. So is this. Looks like in this, when you started to uh, work with some, some tonal values in the hands and in the hair, face looks great, though. These are, I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I, these are probably a work in progress, right? As we can see, they're, they're not nearly to the level of completion as these are, even these need a little bit more attention. I mean, we've got the eyebrow here is just going, it's a straight line right there. So that's a corner point. That should be a, a curve point right there. And I, I think there's a couple of other areas of the eyes that could use more organic um, curves as opposed to, you know, straight lines, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, so really super interesting technique. One caveat is this, is when you place these, try uh, activating that, um, clipping mask when you place these because you'll see right now they're, they're probably a little bit too this one is going to get cut off that clipping mask will come off right about here or so and then right about here on the other side so so just so you know your place but you'll want to experiment with the, the uh template that turned the clipping mask on in the stamp template that i provided in the, the course materials um <clears throat> the other thing that's going to be problematic is right now each of these um, I relatively close to the same size, but this is clearly closer to the focal plane than this. So in other words, she's, if this was a hypothetical camera that we are looking at, we're in a hypothetical camera, she's further than she is from the camera lens. And likewise, I think she is a little further than, or, no, I'm sorry, she's further. Well, either way, it's not consistent. So you want to create a consistent, these two look like they're just about the same distance from the focal plane, but you want to move her up a little bit so that in all of the compositions, their eyes kind of reside along somewhere along the same uh, horizontal plane. That's going to create some wonderful consistency and a really nice harmony throughout the series itself. The other thing is this is another caveat is that these are all really low in the composition. So you got this very large area right here. One of the things that's going to end up happening here is we can already see it happening with just white, which doesn't have any visual weight. But we have, if you apply a color background, the, just the mere color of the background is going to create an enormous amount of visual weight up here. It's pushing down on the illustrations, kind of forcing them down in almost in a subservient kind of way, uh, as, as they, they seem subservient to the gravity the weight of the gravity of the negative space above them. So be mindful of that. I think that's really an important consideration. I can't get over how awesome that looks. Okay, so fantastic work. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. If you feel like reposting before Sunday, that's fantastic too. I'll be glad to provide um, critique as often as you'd like. All right, great job. Any questions, let me know. Thank you.